Hi, boys and girls. This is your math lesson. Uh, if you forgot to go over the numbers and shapes, please do that before you come to the lesson. It's very important that every day we look at the shapes, we review the shapes, and also the numbers. Okay, if you've done that, then continue with the lesson. If you haven't done it, please go back, review that, and then you can come back to this lesson. So in today's lesson, we're going to continue with sorting. So today, you're going to learn how to sort. Sorting is very important because it helps you to group objects that are the same. And also, it can help you see how objects are, the, how are they the same and how are they different. So here, I drew you a picture of uh, sorting. So I sorted all of the stars together, and then I sorted all of the shapes together. So that's what sorting means when you put things that, that look the same in a group. We're going to review now the vocabulary words for today's lesson. Okay, so remember that when we sort, we look at the objects and we put the ones that look the same together in groups. Like here, all the red apples are together, all the oranges are together, all the green apples are together. So that's what we're doing. We're sorting, putting things that look alike in a group. And so what we do is we look at the attribute of the thing. Attribute, remember, it means how does it look, okay? So last week, we sorted by shape. I'm sorry, not last week. Yesterday, we sorted by shape. So you put all the circles together and all the rectangles together. Today, we're going to sort by color, okay? So we might have the same object. Like here, we have Play-Doh. All this is Play-Doh, but each one has a different color. And we're, we're going to try to sort them by color. All right? Okay, so today we're going to be sorting by colors. So here we have a bunch of, uh, these are all frogs, okay? So we're looking at the color though. So we're going to have some frogs that are big and some of them that are little, that they're different sizes, but we're not looking at the sizes right now. What we're looking at is for the color, okay? So here I have a paper. And up here it says blue, and up here it says green. So that's what I need to be looking at. I need to be looking at the color and not the size, okay? We're not worrying about the size. If it's small, it doesn't matter, or if it's big, it doesn't matter. We're looking at the color. So that's what you're going to be doing today you, in your own activity. You're going to be sorting by color, okay? So I'm going to get this one. What color is this one? It's green. So here it says green and here it says blue. Should I put it right here? No, we should put it over here with the greens, okay? And here I have another one. What color is this, blue or green? Blue, so I should put it over here with the blue, right? Okay, what color is this? Green, so we have to put it over here with the green. This one, here or here? We put it with the blue, right? We have to put all the blues together. We're using the attributes. We're looking at it and see what color it is. So we see it and we're like, oh, this is green. So we put it with all the green frogs. What color? Yes, this is another green one. What color? Yes, this is a blue one. What color is this? Blue again. This one? Green. This one? Blue. This one? Blue. Good job. Let's count our frogs now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is number six. Oh, Miss Mora needs a new blue marker. Okay, let's count the green ones. One, two, three, four, five. We have five green frogs. Okay, so we have more blue frogs than we have green frogs, right? But we sorted them by color. We looked at the color. That was the attribute that we were looking for. That's what, what it looked like, the color. 
we were sorting by color all the blues over here all the greens over here okay so in today's lessons we learn how to sort using the attributes and the attribute that we are using today is color so we're going to sort by color and that's what i i just showed you a little example right now and yesterday we did it by shape but today we're not going to do it by shape we're going to do it by color thank you okay so that was the lesson but now i want to show a video and this one's in spanish this is to explain to the parents how um how to do the assignment okay so este video esta parte del video se lo voy a poner para explicarles cómo se sube la tarea de matemáticas porque si sí ha habido papás que me han dicho que han tenido problemas subiendo o viendo el um, el trabajo de matemáticas, así que lo voy a poner aquí rapidito, espero lo puedan ver bien. Gracias. 